Hey everyone, I hope you all are doing great. So welcome to the Decision Data YouTube channel. This is Chetan Sani and today we will be discussing the problem list prefix sum which came in contest hello 2023 and that was first contest of this year. So let's see what the problem is demanding from us then we will see how to approach it. So there is a famous chess player who is also a mathematician. He has an array a1 to a and he can perform the following operation on it several times and what is the option? Operation is that choose some index i from 1 to 1. Then, if that element is positive, then convert that in negative, and if that is negative, then we will convert that in positive. So, his favorite number is m, and he wants that the sum from 1 to m to be smallest of all known amplitude prefix sum. More formally, for each k from 1 to m, it should hold that the sum from 1 to k should be more than or equal to 1 to m. So, let's see what this is trying to say that if there is a array like this this is the given array and just suppose this is the mth index then if we want to make the prefix array of this that is prefix sum array then the element on this index that will be prefix of a that is sum from 1 to m then this condition want to say that the all element of this array all element of this array should be more than or equal to prefix of m. This is the condition. Okay. Then please note that the multiple smallest prefix m may exist and that is only required that the sum from 1 to m is one of them. That means that in this array there can be multiple elements whose value also prefix of m. Okay. Then help him find the minimum number of operations required to make sum from 1 to m the list of all prefix m and it can be shown that a valid sequence of operation always exists. So first let's see understand that why is always valid that we can get a sequence which follows this condition for that if we talk for this array then let's say that if I convert all elements from 1 to m in negative sign and all elements from m to n in positive sign then can you see what will be the prefix sum what type of property prefix sum will follow I think that should be like this till m that will be decreased and after that that will be increased so why because that these all are negative elements so that will be decreasing and these all are positive elements so that will be increasing so we can set we can see that there is a prefix m which is less than or equal to all remaining elements we are we are sure that we can get a sequence always get a sequence which follows this property but in this type of condition we convert all elements in negative from this side and all elements in positive from this side but as we want to minimize the operation so there can be a condition in which we need we don't need to convert a element from positive to negative in this side and there can be also condition we don't need to convert a element from negative to positive in this side so we want to minimize the operation okay. then let's see how to approach it okay So just imagine that if this is the array which is given to us and this is our mth index then if you want to make the prefix summary then this will be like this and here the sum from 1 to m is pointing out so let's call that x so what we want that if uh, like y1 is written here there may be some other elements also that is prefix from one to this particular index then there may be some other elements and y2 is written ahead what we want we want all elements of this array should be more than or equal to x but if that is not following like if y2 is like if we talk for y1 first then this will be like if y1 is less than x then we can see that this is violating our condition then if we want to make this condition like this what we can do either we can increase y1 or we can decrease x if we want to increase y1 if we want to increase y1 then what we can do y1 what is y1 that is sum from this one to this particular index and if we want to increase it then we can do like that uh, some elements which are negative in this range we can convert that in positive and we can say that from that y1 will be changed and y1 will be increased but can you see that if we do such such type of operation then x also will be changed why 
axis sum from this element 1 to this particular index m then if you are changing some elements from this range then that is also concentrating in this range also so if we change minus 2 positive in this uh, range then y1 will be increased yeah that's right but x, x also will be increased so that's not making any impact on this condition so we cannot do like such type of operation then what we should do we just should think for this then if we want to decrease x then what we can do what is x that is sum from 1 to 1 and what is y1 that is sum from this to this just think that if there are some elements in this range which are initially positive what we want we want to decrease that so which are initially negative now positive and if we convert them in negative then we can see that the elements are x will be decreased why because we are converting some positive element in negative okay so now one thing is clear to us that is if y1 comes before x and that is not following our condition then what we will do we will choose some elements from y1 to x in this given array and if that are positive then we will convert them in negative but there one doubt can arise that what if we don't get any positive limit in this range so for that just think that if y1 is going to be increased with x y like y1 is less than x then because of some positive elements in this range that is going to be increased so we are sure that there will be some positive elements and if we convert all them in negative then we are sure that y1 will be more than or equal to x because all are negative so y1 will be going to be decreased but we are not going to change all positive elements in negative we will choose some efficient way in which we can do minimum operation for that what we can choose for y1 to x if i want to choose the maximum element which is positive and i convert that in negative so i think that will make more impact on my option and that will minimize my operation so what i will do i will choose some elements from y1 to x positive elements and i will see that what is the maximum element in this and whatever that is i will take that and convert that in negative and what is it this will make impact like if uh, i think that will not make an impact on y1 that will only make impact on x and what will be that impact like if just suppose that if 2 is written here then 2 is again written here and 4 is here this is our given array and this is our m3 index then if we want to make, make prefix some array that will be like 2 4 then 8 we can see that if we are going to do for this then 2 is less than 8 so what we can do we convert 2 to minus 2 this one then what will be the next prefix sum that will be like 2 0 and that is 4 so can you see that what changes this x is going to be changed that will be changed with x minus 2 multiplied with k what is k that is the maximum element which we want to choose and that will be converted into neg positive to negative y minus 2 multiplied with k because in first prefix sum we add that we add 2 but now we are going to subtract that so first we will subtract uh, that 2 which we which we have add then we will subtract the in now 2 so that's for this condition then if we talk for this condition like we are sure that if y1 is coming before x then we will choose some elements from y1 to x then we will choose the maximum element and convert x to x minus 2k and if it is and if it is still not following our condition then what we will do we will again choose some maximum element from this range which are still positive then we will convert them in negative we will again choose maximum element this is for the elements which are less than x which are coming before x then if you talk for like this condition x is here y2 is here and y2 is less than x then that is violating our condition then what we can do we want to change it in this type of condition then there also two type of condition can be like if we 
if we can y increase y2 either we can decrease x if we want to decrease x then what we will do this is our q and array and this is our prefix array if we want to decrease x then we can do like this some inverse from this range because this is the prefix sum for 1 to m then we can do like some elements from this range and like if we want we are going to decrease that then some elements from this range which are positive we can convert that in negative because of those x will be decreased but y but because in y2 also for y2 this range will be so that is conflating with this one so if you are going to decrease x then that will y2 also will be decreased so that's not making any impact on this condition so we cannot do the operation like this this is not a valid option so we should go for this that is increase y2 and now if we want to increase y2 then we can do like some elements from this range to this in this range now we want to increase that then we choose some negative negative elements in this range and convert them in positive So because of that y2 will be increased and that will follow our condition now again are we sure that we will get negative limits so we can see that y2 is less than x and that is only possible if some negative limits are here because of that x is decreased to y2 so we are sure that there will be some negative limits and if we change all negative limits in positive then we are 100 percent sure that y2 will be more than or equal to x but again we know we know we don't need to change all elements to negative to positive so we will choose some efficient way and for that minimize the operation so what we can do same same condition here that choose some negative elements which are maximum like if there are two elements one is minus 10 one is minus 5 then we will choose this one which is maximum in negative okay we will convert that in positive and what change it will then it will not change x it will change y and what will be the changes in y2 that is we are converting that in negative to positive so y2 will be increased with 2 multiplied with k okay now there is one more point that if uh, like this one is or prefix summary and this is or else then if y both are less than x like y1 is also less than x and y2 is also less than x then what do you think should we go for y1 first and or we should go for y2 first if we go for y2 first then what we will do we will choose some elements from this range which are initially what they are which are initially positive and convert them in negative so that is decreasing our x and if we choose this condition then we are sure that some elements in this range are going to be they are satisfying our condition then we also only say for this condition and x is already decreased by some elements that is minus 2 with k So that is making a positive impact on this and because of that there can be some condition which are like first y1 is less than x but because of operation because of some operation like this y1 is going to be more than or equal to x multiplied with 2 of k and k is some elements from this range so what i want to say that if you are checking some elements before x then we will make a reverse loop and if you are checking some elements from this range then we will make a original loop so let's see the summation so here first of all i am going to take input then this is our prefixer then this is our priority queue you all know that if you want to choose the maximum element then we will choose the priority queue then what is temp that is our x prefix of m and my prefix sum is one based index so hence is zero which is calculating our operation then this is red 
what is RED? That is how much element we are going to decrease. Like if I going to decrease here x minus 2 with k, then what I will do? I will increase RED with 2 multiplied with k. And then if I check, if I checking, then what I will do? I will check for x minus RED. So that is RED. I am making a reverse loop. I am checking that if uh, the prefix on this index, this ith index, that is less than our prefix of m minus RED. And if that is, then we will choose the maximum element from the priority queue and pop that. Then increase uh, our RED with 2 multiplied with x and one operation is increased. Then if we, we are if the element is positive, then we will insert that in our priority queue because here we are converting positive to negative. Okay. Then in this condition, we are again making another priority. Queue. We are traversing our loop from m to n. Then checking that if this element is negative, if that is, then we will convert that in. We will insert that in our priority queue, but we are multiplying with that with minus one. Then we will check that or prefix of i plus 1 that prefix of i index plus 8 what is 8 that is we are going to add some part in this y2 that is 2 multiplied with k so we will check that prefix plus 8 minus red what is red the changes we what what we do here and compare that with prefix of m minus red if that is not following our condition since that is violating our condition then we will choose the maximum limit Hope that increase or add with 2 multiply with x then ns plus plus so then finally i will print ns so yeah that's all about this problem i hope you all understand this see you in the next problem till then happy coding bye bye